Yeah, baby, I ain't gonna be cool with today. Look at my little frittata. I got potatoes and peppers and onions and eggs and cheese. Yes! Gorgeous, confident, high self-esteem. Don't have to depend on the man to buy her thing. She got her own job and got her own car. And she ain't Hollywood, but I promise she's a star. And yeah, she ain't in the drama. Hey, curvy kings and curvy queens, honey. This is your girl, Asia Paree. I've said that to you three times in this video, but I'll let me tell you. I'm so excited about today's video because I get a chance to let my hair down and be me. On the Ambassador's Hour, I'm more polished and more refined, and I have to sit down and I have to take my time and think and just really eloquently articulate the Word of God. But on Chronicles, I get to be myself. I get to laugh. I get to have fun. I get to vlog. I get to show you my life. I get to really just let you in behind the scenes on the Queen. You know what I'm saying? And so I just told myself that even though four people unsubscribed to me, no matter whatever their reasons were for doing so, that I can't really get into that. I have to make sure that I'm being authentic and true to myself and that I'm vlogging and I'm creating content that is um, binge worthy, that makes me happy and that is helping you all find substance in your life. And I can't just throw mess on my channel because it's popular or because it's exciting. I want you to feel um, a catharsis when you come to Chronicles of the Curvaceous. I want you to laugh with me. I want you to cry with me. I want you to believe that there is hope. I want you to feel inspired. I want you to get to a point in your um, journey where you say, you know what, I really can do this. Whatever I've dreamed, it's never too late to um, chase after your dream. It's never too late to become exactly who God has called you to be. And so that's what I want to articulate today while we eat our breakfast. So let's eat breakfast. <laughs> It's your girl, Asia Paree, and we in the kitchen, honey. If you're new to the channel, I don't always look like this. Sometimes I beat my face, but uh, this morning, you're going to be my breakfast. Smash subscribe, because I promise you the content on this channel is binge worthy, binge worthy, even though those four people who unsubscribe did not think so. Their loss, not ours. We're going to keep Rockin' right along, rockin' rockin' right along. Yes, baby. Because we're on a mission. We're on a mission, a journey. And I thank you guys for journeying with me every day. We're journeying to wholeness, honey. And let me show y'all what we eat today. A whole frittata. Yes. And what's under there? I see it sneaking under there, Curry Queen. I know I shouldn't be having it, but I got me a corn tortilla, honey. I'm going to try it with this Taco Bell mayo sauce. And if not, I'm going to go to my trusty, rusty ketchup. Are you a Heinz or Hunt's person? It don't matter. It can be ketchup for me. <laughs> it can be like Walmart ketchup. Great value. I don't care. And I see my booth thermos and all that stuff. But one thing about being a YouTuber is this. These are our private lives. We welcome you into a segment of it for like 8, 10, me 30, honey, when I try it. And if people critique, they look, they whatever, it doesn't matter. As long as the content that you're producing and what you're doing brings joy to you and it adds value to someone else's life, who cares? Who cares, honey? Because it's real life over here, honey. We got some children in this house, <laughs> me and my boo. I don't clean up every day, every other day for me. Not just joking, he's a cleaner. But anyway, I digress. Why are we here? We're here to talk about this topic of so what's stopping you? So what's stopping you? What's stopping you? Yesterday I had an encounter and you already know what it is. Yes. It says love never fails, honey. My joke on point today. My joke on point today. I don't know if I showed you guys, but I change my table around every so often. And I pick up these cute little mats that say bless from the Dollar Tree. Yes. Yes, I love Dollar Tree. The things that I love and the things that are important to me, I'm going to keep doing it because it helps me keep my sanity. Mental health is real, y'all. And, um... 
stressing and worrying about what people think, other people's opinions, who's doing this, who's doing that, that's going to hinder your mental health. And so today while we're eating breakfast, eating my wonderful breakfast for Tyler, let me take the first bite because I haven't bit it yet. Yes, you want some? You can have some. Yes. Need a little salt. Some salt and some pepper. Yes. Let me get it, y'all. I'll be right back. I'm back, honey, because that was going to hit without no salt. Need a little salt, little salt, little salt. Yes. I'm going to try some of this. And on the next bite that you see, this is going to be my taco sauce and see how that do. Because if you can, wouldn't it be at Taco Bell? You know, again, you be having... Like, when I say that, I mean, I be having a chicken chalupa, and I put that sauce on there, because I don't eat that beef. I been stopped eating that beef. And so, since I'm vegetarian, I decided to make me a corn tortilla for breakfast, a breakfast frittata that has potatoes and peppers and onions and stuff like that. And why not try it with the Taco Bell? Let's see. Mm-hmm. I'm going to pour some more on there, honey. It's good. It is very, very good. I like corn tortillas. I like when they just break up in your mouth, girl. They good. They different from flour. Flour ain't the same as corn tortillas. But anyway, what's stopping you? That's what we're going to talk about today. Yesterday, I had an encounter. A girl came into my office. And she was like, you are so nice. You are so wonderful. She said, this place is beautiful. It looks so good around here. She said, but I feel like the Lord got something for me to tell you. And I'm like, oh my God. Speak, Lord. Your servant hears. <laughs> she was like, I know you love your job. I know you love what you do. And you're very good at it. I can tell from the moment you answer the phone to the day I arrived here that you love what you do. You're passionate about it. But there's so much more in you. She told me about a job opportunity in a local school system. And she was just telling me that all of the qualifications that I have doesn't just part me in the classroom. There's so a plethora of other opportunities for me. And she said something to me that really resonated with my spirit. She said, sometimes we tend to get complacent and we get scared and we get comfortable when God be challenging us and he be calling us higher and he has so much more for us. The agony and the pain and the things that I have been going through lately and the reason why it's been manifesting in dreams and things of that nature is because I'm having growing pains. I'm outgrowing where I am. But because I love it so much and I'm so passionate and I care about it, I don't want someone else to sit where I'm sitting that's not going to have the heart that I have. And I'm so afraid, I'm so afraid that under this administration, it won't happen. Isn't that something? And that has just been worrying me and it's been stopping me, stopping me. When I came to this place, I had a two-year hustle plan, honey, like Diamond on Players Club. She was like, you know, the Players Club was her four-year hustle plan. And she was going to be a journalist and she was going to go to school and she was going to do whatever she had to do for her and her baby. This was my two-year hustle plan. Mommy died. I made a deathbed wish to her that I was going to finish my degree, that I was going to get in the school system, I was going to do what I needed to do, that she was, it was okay for her to go. Mommy, you can go because I'm going to be okay. I'm never going to stop fighting for my dreams. I'm going to be everything that you taught me to be. You gave me the word. We went to her church and we sat there and I had a heart to heart with my mama. And I was like, mama, I know you've been fighting. You've been fighting for 27 years to make sure I was okay. You didn't want to die when I was seven, when you had your heart attack, because you didn't want anyone else to raise me. And now you're concerned about my welfare and my well-being that I'm going to be okay. Because I'm the baby, behind. I'm mama's baby. And all of us, she made all of us feel special in our own ways. But, um, and so I've been going on to get along and I love what I do, but financially it has not been as rewarding. But sometimes you'll take a pay cut for your passion. You know what I'm saying? But when you get in a place in your life where 
you're being nitpicked and you're being mistreated and you're not being you're being underappreciated and then there the expectation of super high why what's stopping you from fighting for your next level of destiny you get to a point where those jeans that button just won't go your shirt is too tight your everything too tight what is stopping you from getting in that jean you know what I'm saying? You get to a point in a relationship. It's a dead-end relationship. Y'all guys won't communicate. You don't try counseling. You don't try everything. What is stopping you from going to the next dimension to figure out what's going to revive your relationship? I ain't going to talk divorce on this channel. How can you fix it? What can you do? What's stopping you from being happy? What's stopping you from living that dream? I look at my nieces and nephews, my sister and I, my oldest sister, Zay. She called me and we talk about her kids and we talk about life and everything they have going. And one thing I like about my sister, Zay, they ain't afraid to do nothing. They've been to London. They've been traveling. They go, they'll hop a flight in a minute. Her little boy, he just got the job at Geico. I was so happy about that. The other one, he was like, look, I know I'm at the D, um, DMV. I know my job got um, benefits and stuff like that, but it ain't paying what I need to pay. He went on, got a job, doubling his salary. You know what I'm saying? They're not afraid to step out of the boat like Peter bid me to come. But a lot of times, I try to be safe. <laughs> I try to be safe. I count my, dot my eyes, count my teeth. But my mama always just tell me, a bird in the hand is better than one in the bush. So I'm like, okay, I got this bird in my hand. Those two in the bush. I'm sorry, a bird in the hand is better than two in the bush. I see them two up there, but I got this one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's why I'm so cautious. But she also taught me something like, when your money get low, like you're down to your last 20, if you're holding on to it so tight and you won't let it go, you don't have room for God to put nothing else in your hand. And that's why I feel like I'm holding on to this so tight. They don't have room for God to put anything else in my hand. Yes, this is my one bird in my hand. I see those two birds over there in that bush. I kind of want them. But I'm going to take another bit of advice that my mom gave me. She said, you have to aim. Then you focus on what you're aiming for. Then you shoot. Then you shoot. That's what's stopping me, okay? I got to aim at them two birds. Focus on it. And then if I shoot, I will get both of those birds and still be able to keep the one I have in my bush. You know what I'm saying? So I know that God has a plan for me. I know that he is so faithful and he is so sovereign. I know that he is real and he's not a respectable person. If he did it for me, he'll do it for you. But this video about 11 minutes, we ain't nothing. But I'm going to tell you, this is a bop. So make it for yourself um with this taco bell mouse uh sauce i love you guys i gotta get ready to take our ferrari to school she got 13 minutes to get there and i still got on my nightgown i love you guys so very much i will show you what me and ari did this weekend i hope y'all have a very blessed day thank you for journeying with me today's workout wednesday so you'll see me and my sister pop up this evening but in the meantime embrace and enjoy your journey goodbye for now